Shalom. This week's Haftarah for the Parashat of Mishpatim. In it, we learned about certain halachot, or laws, that the Jewish people, who brought ethical monotheism to the world, were instructed by God. The specific laws I would like to talk about are the laws of the Eved Ivri, of the Hebrew slave. The Jewish people showed great humanitarianism to their slaves. How did you become a slave? You either stole something that you couldn't pay for, or you were in such great debt that you could never dig yourself out that you sold yourself to a master and you performed work for him, and this way you got to pay off your debt to this person. Normally, you would work for six years, and in the seventh year, you were set free. In this case, and actually you were set free on Yom HaKippurim. It was your day of freedom. However, what happens now in the time of Yirmiyahu? About 2,500 years ago, the Beit HaMikdash was still standing, but for a very short period of time. The king is the last king of the Davidic dynasty, of the Israelites. And his name was Sitkiyahu. Now, Sitkiyahu was the king, Yirmiyahu was the prophet, and here's the situation. There was great poverty, and people were in debt, and then they went to work for these people to pay off their debt. However, after seven years, they were supposed to have been, six complete years, they were supposed to have been let free. But what happened is, the masters would not let their people free. And this is the topic of the Haftarah for this week. So there you have the thematic connection. The Haftarah takes place in Jerusalem. It comes from the book of Jeremiah, who also wrote the book of Melachim, Kings, and also Eicha that's read on Tisha B'Av, or the book of Lamentations. So now we understand when this happened, where this happened, and who the Navi of the Haftarah is. So, we start off the Haftarah that the Jewish people are supposed to let their servants go. So now what do you do? They don't let it go. Now, where do we just come from? We came from Egypt a thousand years earlier or more. We know mida kenegen mida, measure for measure. You could look at what did God do to the people that enslaved the Jewish people. Look how he showed his wrath against them. So now the Jewish people are playing God by being masters, well then they're obligated to behave in a sensitive way to these people. But they kept them as slaves. So God gets upset with them. He says in the Haftarah, the Navi, that people used to walk through a split calf. That the calf was like a bris, like a covenant that you made with God, with the karbanot, so you would pass through it and say, if I don't keep these laws of the covenant, that I too should be like a korban to God. That it is a demonstration that I am committed to God and to behaving in a spiritually aligned way with God. So, the Jewish people transgress, and now God announces a punishment. He says that these people are going to suffer greatly. That the people that they were protected from while they lived in the land of Israel are now going to attack them and destroy them. However, the Babylonians are the ones that are mentioned here. And the Babylonians are the ones that are going to exile the Jewish people. Sitkiyahu the king is actually going to be exiled and he will not be murdered or tortured. He will die in peace. But the Jewish people have to be very, very careful, and they should do teshuvah. They should listen to Yirmiyahu and what he said to them and what they should do. Now, in a very unusual turn with the Haftarah, it goes back a chapter. It's very unusual because we roll a scroll in one direction. Even if you read from the Treyasar, the 12 minor prophets, you always roll forward in a Haftarah. This is the only time I could recall that you roll backwards. And God says, listen, does the sun come up after the moon? Every day. So will the Mashiach come from the Davidic dynasty. The Haftarah never ends on a down note. It always ends on an up note. So what do we learn? 
We look like this. What did B'nai Yisrael do, and how did God respond? So God is saying, you, the people in power, the leaders, the one with money, you have to behave in a holy way. If you believe, believe it and behave in a holy way, I'll protect you. But if you don't, oy va'avoy lachem, watch out. Then God says, I will remember the good ones, and no matter what, I will show compassion and mercy on the Jewish people eventually. Hope you avoid all the punishment that you can, but if you do, or regardless, I will send the Mashiach one day, and the Mashiach will come, the city of Jerusalem will be rebuilt, and we will live in world peace. That is this week's Haftarah.